Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Um, if this is your first visit, welcome. Um, you can see that I'm new to this, but I'm moving right along and I'm enjoying it immensely. So um, please hit that subscribe button below and also the little bell so that you will be notified um, whenever I upload a new video. And if you've been here before, welcome back and I hope you enjoy this video as well. Today's video is going to be a short video. Um, I'm getting acclimated to videoing things that I do around the house. This is all new, as I said before. But um, while I was doing my cleaning the other day, I decided to clean out my cleaning caddy to update it with um, some new products. And so I decided to video that and take you along with me. Um, I've had this, this caddy for over a year and there is a blog post on my blog. Um, when I purchased it and I'll put that link below just in case you'd like to read that I hope you will um, but this is what I'm showing you today is a year after I've, I've used it I haven't cleaned it out um, and so it, this is the year after and it's time I'm trying to change my products over uh, I'm asthmatic and so I'm I'm switching over to um, less uh, aromatic if you will products the ones that I'm changing from the ones with such strong smells um, that uh, affect the way that I breathe so uh, but as I go along I'm switching them out as I use them I'm not going to throw any you know full bottles of anything out but um, as I use them I'm switching over to natural um, with less fragrance which is better for my health I hope you will enjoy the video um, it's it's short and um, it's something that may inspire you to perhaps have a caddy instead of carrying products up and down your stairs if you live in um, a house that has, has stairs. It helps me a lot. Um, I can just pick it up and go. I can clean when I'm ready. I don't have to worry about, well, do I have this on this level or this on that level of the house? Um, it's all in one place. So um, sit back. Let's enjoy this little video, and I hope you do and leave all your comments below I, I am thrilled when I receive comments as I've said before I'm new at this so anytime that you leave a comment or I see someone else has subscribed I get very excited I appreciate you all for stopping by and for the ones of you that those of you that come back um, so thank you so here we go enjoy the video and I'll see you on the other side Okay, so um, I ordered this and I got this from um, Grove. So I'm going to try this, as I said, and um, replace it once my Comet wears, runs out. I think I have, yeah, I do. Sorry. Um, is it Comet or is it, what is it? Yeah, I have this. And I'm going to finish it, I think, um, and maybe use them both intermittently. But eventually, um, I'm hoping that my caddy will be mostly all natural. That's my goal. But for now, I'm keeping these. So those will, these two will go on this side for keepers. Um, as will my Dawn, because it's a keeper. Okay. Um, I have this cleaner because I do have, as you saw, a little furry friend. And although I only have carpet in the three bedrooms upstairs, nothing in the hallway, nothing on the stairs, nothing downstairs as far as carpet, um, I have throw rugs but no carpet because I'm asthmatic and it was suggested that I not live with carpet so when it was time to redo the carpeting we just went with the, um, a, a high-end laminate downstairs and in the hallway and up the stairs but carpet in the bedrooms um, but I keep this because this is wonderful for spot cleaning um, if anybody gets sick you know the little furry person um, it, do, it doesn't happen often but it has happened and this worked well, so I'm not tossing this. this I'm going to keep it. It goes in the keep pile. And this is something else that I ordered from either QVC or HSN, Regency Gold. I can't remember. This is fantastic for giving your wood furniture new life. I don't use it very often. I've had this for like two years, I know, or more. And um, once a year, I will polish the wood furniture that we have. And... It just brings it back to life. And then you don't have to do it again for another year or so. You just, you know, dust it with the normal dusting stuff and it works. Um, it keeps it looking, you know, healthy and moisturized and um, protected. 
So this is a keeper. Okay. Um, now this orange gold, orange glow is my in betweener. I use this. Mm, I don't polish often. I dust a lot because I think that polishing attracts dust, and at least that's my opinion. So I use this on occasion, just when the wood looks like it needs it. Otherwise, I just use my duster and keep everything nice and clean. But on occasion, you know, your wood does need, you know, a light polishing. And this is the light one that I use maybe, let's say, every couple of months. And then um, once a year, maybe once every year and a half, I'll use this to bring life back to wood. I'm moving towards painted furniture, I guess, because, I don't know, I'm changing my style a little bit, so I'm using, I have less wood than I used to, um, but anyway, um, scrubbing bubbles, I've had this can, and it's almost full for about two years, I've tried it in my shower, I thought it'd be wonderful, it did not work for me. I didn't see a difference. It didn't do a scrubbing. Those little bubble men didn't come out and scrub it for me. <laughs> it wasn't easy to, to me to um, rinse off of the tile uh, in the shower. So this can go. Um, my uh, barkeeper's friend, I love this. I use the soft one downstairs for downstairs in the kitchen. I use it on my glass top stove and on my black appliances and it's wonderful this um, I use in the shower with that brush if I'm really scrubbing uh, the tile and it's great I just put a little bit on the brush and scrub the tile down quick and easy and I love this stuff and the floor of the shower comes up amazing using this barkeeper's friend cleanser that's a keeper okay here is another dusting rag, and this is the one that I use with this stuff. Now, this is for your furniture if you have scratches, the Restore a Finish, and I have found it to work great. If you have, I'm sorry, if you follow my blog or if you've seen any of my few videos, because I'm new to this, um, you can see that I have dark wood trim and molding downstairs, um, white up but dark down, and that's the way the house came, and I haven't changed it. That's that's gonna be quite an ordeal. And this restores that. You know how you can nick it when you're vacuuming, or um, you know your furniture gets a nick in it? This stuff is wonderful. As you can see, the can is about empty. I'm thinking I'm keeping the can so I remember the color, because I do need to reorder it, um, and I will. I got this from Amazon and I'll put a link for this in my comment section below. It works wonders. I love it. So I'm going to keep the can, maybe not in the caddy, so that I can reorder. Maybe if I put it on my desk, then I'll remember to reorder it. So that's what I'll do. So this is a keeper, sort of, kind of. Okay, and this is my new addition. My uh, Mrs. Myers. Uh, multi-surface cleaner. I'm going to be using that today for the first time because I got my box just um, last week and I had already done my cleaning when the box came. So this will be a first today. I got mine in the fragrance of lavender. Um, my first one and I know I like the smell of lavender so I wasn't sure which fragrance to choose so I started with this. I'm going to place another order and I'll try another fragrance till I find my signature fragrance for it. Um, but this is what I got in the in the surface cleaner. So of course it's a keeper. It's probably the reason I'm doing all of this. And here's my squeegee. I've had it. I keep it um, for doing the shower door. Um, yeah, I use it sometimes. Most times I don't. I have found, and maybe I'll do a video on that. The best thing that works for cleaning scum off my shower door is drum roll, please. A um, fabric softener the kind you put in your in your um, shower I mean I'm sorry in your dryer with your clothes so maybe I'll do a video on that but I'm gonna keep this because uh, I may use it here and there not gonna toss it um, of course every cleaning caddy before Mrs. Myers had pine saw as does mine so I'm not throwing it out I'm going to keep it until it is gone 
and I may still use a little pine saw. And this is a fresh scent. It's by Renews It. I have stopped using these to put on my um, my fabrics and that kind of thing. So this can go. I now use the Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy. And that's what I spray my, my bedding with or any if I need to spray my curtains. Generally, I figure if I need to spray them, then I need to wash them. So I take them down. But um, my couch sometimes, um, I just prefer the Bath and Body Works. So guys, that's the bottom of it. Here's another random glove. I'm oh, sorry that I'm going to toss out too, but it looks pretty clean. Maybe I won't. This one looks new like it just got tossed in the bottom. So, I on this side with the pockets, I have my new gloves for cleaning the bathroom yeah. bathrooms, toilets, and then I have a collection of or a supply of the ones that I put on my hands within these gloves and that I use for everything other than cleaning the toilet. So that's these pockets are just wonderful. They come in handy. And there are more. Um, here on the front, you have more pockets. In this one, I have two packs of thumbtacks. And you ask me why thumbtacks? Well, when you're cleaning, you never know, you know, what you're going to run into, if you might need them. So I have some downstairs in my quote-unquote junk drawer. And I have some here. And then I have the brushes. And this is what the bottom looks like, guys. And this is over a year. Not bad. Not bad at all. So I'm going to wipe this out the bottom clean it out and then I'm going to restock it and then I'll give you a picture of or a view of it all done up and ready to go okay guys back in a bit. okay guys so I've thrown everything away that I've tossed everything that I'm not keeping and I've put it back together with things that I am keeping I did find two more things that I needed to put in here so I'll point those out I did choose to put in some um Windex, and that's this right here. Um, I am going to change from that, but I have the bottle, so as I said before, I'm going to use it until it's gone, and then I'll switch to Mrs. Meyer's um, glass cleaner. Um, I use vinegar and water downstairs on my glass top table and um, the mirrors downstairs, um, but for some reason, my big mirror in my bathroom up here doesn't like the vinegar uh, and water mixture. It streaks it, and Windex does not, so... Uh, I'll have to try Mrs. Myers and hopefully she'll work as well as um, the Windex does. I don't know the difference in the glass. I have not a clue. I just know that when I use the vinegar, which is what I prefer, um, it streaks and it doesn't downstairs on my glass downstairs or my mirrors downstairs or even my storm door downstairs or my glass uh, slider downstairs but it does on this one mirror. So I've had to go back to Windex for that one. But I, like I said, I'm going to try Mrs. Myers and see how that works. So that's my quick little project for today I wanted to share with you. I purged my um, my cleaning caddy, and now what's in there are things that I'm going to use. Some I'm going to use until I use them up, and then I'll switch to something that is more um, organically friendly. Uh, and with my asthma, I think this is a good move for me. So um, I'm going to be switching things out as they run out. But now it's neat. It's clean. I know what's in there again. There aren't a whole lot of dirty gloves and uh, dirty dusting rags. So I'm happy with it. So there you go, my cleaning caddy. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please, please, please subscribe below. Hit the little bell so you won't miss any upcoming videos. And I hope that my cleaning caddy has inspired you. Um, to kind of put all of your things together in one place. It makes it so much easier to grab and go when you're cleaning. Even though I do keep glass cleaner under the sinks in my bathrooms, I, and now I also keep um, a multi-purpose cleaner under the sink too. I ordered three of those um, from uh, Mrs. Myers or from Grove um, the other day. So I have one upstairs under my cabinet, you know, for touch-ups every day. And I have a glass cleaner for that mirror that's um, problem problemsome. That's a problem, okay? <laughs> and uh, But I have the caddy for my big cleaning. And it works out well with the pockets. I have everything together that I use. And I hope this has inspired you. Okay, guys, that's it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Rest of your day. Bye. And so that's it, family. Um, a short video. Um, I hope it has inspired you. Um, I wasn't thinking of a caddy until I just happened to be walking through Sears one day. And bam, there it was. So I had an epiphany. Also, I wanted to tell, let you know that the caddy does come in different colors, or it did when I purchased mine. There was a pink that I almost walked out of the store with. However, I let um, 
logic take over and I decided okay if you purchase this pink one and you've used and you use it for a year and then the pink is now all dirty you're not going to be satisfied with it and you're going to have to buy another so I went with the basic black and I'm happy with that however when I look at it because it has the yellow pockets it does repel dirt I guess they do that because the caddy started out as a tool caddy for guys so I don't know I'm happy with the black, but I often wonder if maybe I should have got the pink one, you know, it would have made me happy. But the black one does the job. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, please, please subscribe below. Also hit the bell so that you'll be notified when I post or upload another um, video. I hope you're enjoying my new channel. I'm enjoying connecting with you guys. It's been my pleasure and I'll see you next time. And until next time, remember, I believe in miracles. And I hope you do.